one looks divine. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I am once again in my messy garage where I start the majority of my seedlings here on my cut flower farm. I live in upstate New York zone 4B and just to remind you guys, my last frost in spring is usually around mid-March, or mid-March, <laughs> that'd be a dream, mid-May, between mid May 15th and May 21st. Sometimes, if I was playing it safe, I would push it off and say June 1st, but I like to live dangerously. So I always say mid-May. Today's video is all about stock. Stock was one of my favorite flowers that I grew in 2022 and I grew it inside the hoop house. In this video, I'm gonna talk about all of the varieties of stock that I'm growing in 2023. And then after I review that, I'll talk about the methods of success that I had in 2022 from when I started the seeds to when I was harvesting the flowers and everything in between. Stock is not only one of the most fragrant flowers, it's also edible. Lots of things you can do with stock. One of my favorites, hands down. And you may have noticed she's the cover model of the Baker Creek catalog this year. Look at her. She deserves the cover. Yes, she does. There are multiple varieties. I mean, I think more than 15 varieties of stock available on just that website alone. Okay, so which ones am I growing this year? Well, there are a lot and there are some disappointments as well. Hold on, stay with me now. Okay, first of all, stock has two forms. They have single stock and double stock. Here is an example of one of each of the apricot stock that I grew last year. Now stock is one of those rare seedlings where you can tell the difference if it's going to be a double or a single when it's just a newborn baby. You can actually tell this one's gonna be a double and this one's not gonna be a double. And if you'd like to select for doubles, you can. I did an entire video about it last year. I will post it up above. You just have to click if you're interested in doing that. This year, my time, because I'm both running the flower farm and the nursery, I have to be a little bit more careful with my time. So I've decided I'm not culling, yes, I said culling, any baby stocks this year. I am going to let them all grow. I found, unless you're selling to a florist, I did sell to florists last year, but the majority of my sales are market bouquets or CSA member bouquets. And I gotta tell you, they didn't care whether or not it was a single or a double stock. It's still beautiful and it still fills the air with a beautiful, very mm, spicy, nutmeggy, clove-like fragrance. It's delicious. I actually have never eaten stock. I regret that. I will eat it this year and I'll let you know what it tastes like. For time-saving purposes, I'm letting them all grow. Here's my order. From Geo, I ordered several different varieties. Geo is a company that sells seeds in large quantities at really good wholesale prices. You do not need to have a business license to purchase from them. I thought you did a couple of years ago. I said that in a video. You do not need to have a business license to purchase from Geo. Okay, so from Geo, I ordered the Iron Series Mix. I grew several different varieties of the iron mix last year. I just decided to purchase the mix and grow all of the colors. I don't care what they come up and look like. They're all gorgeous to me. So I ordered those. I also ordered Cat's Apricot specifically. This was one of my absolute favorites, but more importantly, it was a favorite of my customers. Always this peachy apricot chartreuse salmon pastel vibe is always a favorite with my customers. And honestly, it's one of the colors that could go with everything. It could go with reds and oranges. It could go with purples. It could go with pinks. It goes well with all of the other colors with the exception of maybe yellow. Not sure if I love yellow with a peach, but I think if there are other colors in between, the combination is okay. There are also two varieties that I ordered that are known to be 90% doubles, at least a minimum of 90% doubles. And that is the Japan double flowering white and the Japan double flowering yellow. Now these have been genetically bred to have that 90% double. If you just let a seed packet go, you're going to get about 40 to 50% singles, 50 to 60% 
will be doubles. Having this one be at least 90% doubles, that's gonna be really awesome because, I mean, I do like the doubles. I will report back on how successful that actually is, but I don't think that they would advertise it as 90% doubles if it didn't actually grow 90% doubles. I'm excited about that. Okay, moving on, unfortunately, I could not get a hold of seed for my favorite, which was the Rainbow Quartet stock. The Quartet series is a branching stock. Most stock, all of the ones I've mentioned so far, were one hit wonders. And I actually don't even cut stock. You pull it right out of the ground. That's the easiest way to harvest. That's how the professionals do it. I've seen videos of huge fields of stock and they were all just being pulled up by their, by their tails. Bing, 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 roots dangling because stock doesn't have a very deep root system. In fact, I do have a photo of some stock that I pulled right up out of the ground. It has a very small root system. Pulling it out of the ground, two things. You get the longest stem length possible and you also have less cleanup when it comes to cleaning up the area and replanting it with something else in, in your space if you're going to do that. Anyway, back to the Rainbow Quartet. I cannot find this seed anywhere. On Geo, I ended up finding a quartet mix, but there's always a description of what colors are included in the mix in, on their seed catalog, and Rainbow was not on that list. So even the mix of quartet, the multi-branching one, that doesn't have Rainbow in it either. Well, I don't know if you guys remember the other day, I showed you guys my new extended hoop house. Henry got an extension, but um, I showed you guys a little weedy section in the middle where the one hoop house ended and where we put the new one on. That actually wasn't all weeds. There were actually some stock plants that were still there, and I knew because of the branching that they were the rainbow quartet. That got me thinking, I know there must be seeds out there. So, just a couple days ago, I went out there to see if I could collect any of those seeds. Here are those video clips. I'm walking out to the hoop house because I just realized something horrible. I don't have any more Rainbow Quartet stock seeds, and that was my favorite branching type of stock from last year. But guess what I do have? I still have a couple of those plants in here, so I'm coming in to check to see if I can collect any seed. The other day I showed you guys like the a weed pile, but some of this is actually stock. So this was the end where I had all of my supplies, some row covers. So that's the weedy section, but this is stock. And this is rainbow stock, this entire plant. So I'm gonna see if there are any seeds here. Otherwise I don't have any rainbow quartet. Oh boy. Okay, this looks like a seed pod. Oh boy. All right, I'm just gonna put the seed pods in that and open them up inside. It's all, see how it's, it's branching. So there's several, oh boy, what's this? What's this one? Oh, yes, this one's got a lot of seed pods. Never, I don't even know if stock remains true or if it can cross pollinate. I don't know any of that information. If anyone knows if stock cross pollinates, I can, I'm sure I can Google it. I just don't know. Oh, let's open one up for funsies. It's hard to do with one hand. I opened it up, a couple fell out. Okay, so I have, oh yay, I have them. All right, let me collect as many of these as possible. Oh yes, I'm so excited that I did not, I didn't till this up. I'm so excited that I left it. There are quite a few other pods here. Let me grab them all. All right, this looks like it's about it. Don't really see any more. Look, you can actually see some color still <laughs> on the stock. And these are all the branching. So let's take a look. There are multiples on this. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that one. Even more on these. Look at, look at the number of stock. And I cut a lot of them, you can see. But there came a point where I just stopped cutting them because the flowers, it got too warm in here. And they didn't look great. But that's the branching stock. Branching stock, which is a quartet series. I can't find the seed anywhere online. There's another, I found another one. 
and the seed pods form. I have no idea. These not, they might not be viable and they might not even stay true, but we'll see. Okay, cool. There's definitely a cat or something coming in here and walking around. I guess I have to zip the zipper up all the way. I haven't been. I've kind of been leaving the zipper a little bit undone. Well, there is a stray cat hanging out in my hoop house. So these ones to me look a little mildewy, but there are a lot of nice tan ones. I think I'm probably gonna put them in a Ziploc baggie with one of those packets that takes away moisture. And I might just sprinkle some on some soil and do a little test. This one looks divine. This entire, look at the, in comparison, that's the one that looks a little old and mildewy. That looks amazing. So I'm gonna put all of those into the pile. There are some other ones that are a little too dark down there, but I'm gonna separate these out. Look at that one. That looks nice. Ooh. Okay, here are the seeds. Oh, every time I move the bowl, <laughs> every time I move the bowl, you can kind of see they, they go around. All right, so if I go really fast. Ooh. I say I have prob, I can't talk too close. I just blew a couple out of the bowl. Where'd it go? I probably have 60 to 70 seeds. I haven't counted them, but I can, I'm to the point now where I can glance at a pile of seeds and how many are there. I can pre pretty much estimate how many are there. I think I have 60 to 70 viable seeds. A lot of them were too wet. They were mildewy, they were green, they were black, they were almost even growing a little bit of grossness. There were a lot though that were, I mean, these look just like stock seeds to me. This is really exciting. If all goes to plan, these will grow true to the mother. The mother plant being the rainbow quartet stock. Cross your fingers, I have viable seeds. I am going to be starting those seeds in a couple of weeks and I'll get to that later on. Okay, in all honesty, collecting these stock seeds got me really excited to collect other seeds in the future, especially stock seeds because it was so easy and it was so prolific. I couldn't believe the number of seed pods. So at the end of the season, maybe leaving a couple of the plants just to collect seeds, I'm going to try and make that a priority this year. And I actually did save a lot of other seeds around the farm this year. I have them all in a box and uh, we're going to talk about that in an upcoming video. There's another variety that I picked up and this one is from Baker Creek. The catalog just came in yesterday. Oh look, I ironically just opened up to the page of stock and I picked up this dark purple one. It's called, and I know I'm not going to say this right, Murasaki no Uta. It is this dark purple right here. And if we're being 100% honest, I am 99% sure that I'm going to hop on their website and order the rest of the varieties just because I feel like I don't have enough stock. I feel after I went through, and this is my stock, a stock of Fever Few in the same container. After I went through and realized that I thought I had a ton of seed packets of stock in here from leftover stock and these are just Fever Few, there's no stock. I must have used it all. So I'm literally out of stock, of stock. Anyway, I cannot grow enough of this. And I last year, I only got about 200 plants in the ground last year inside the hoop house. It was about a four foot section. I planted them about four inches apart in the hoop house. I would like to grow over a thousand this year. So you think about that, you multiply it times five. So I'd like to have a 20 foot section of stock in the hoop house this year. I really think it will go to good use especially if the plans that I have for my sales this year come to fruition. Cross your fingers. Okay, let's talk about the growing part because I'm hearing from a lot of people after posting on my Instagram page the other day about the deliciousness of stock emails. A lot of people have given up on stock and I almost did too. To be honest with you, last season was my third year attempting to grow stock. The first two years I deemed failures and not because I didn't get flowers. I did, I was able to grow flowers every year, but the plants were blooming on six and eight inch stems. And when it comes to growing for bouquets, that's just not good enough. Unless I'm doing miniature bouquets in little tiny tea light vases, I can't do that. I need to have at least a 10, a 12, a 14, preferably longer of a stem in order to incorporate it into my bouquets. 
especially since the other things that are blooming at that time are things that have some height. So you want everything to be about the same height in your bouquet and I can't incorporate an eight inch stock with a 14 inch ranunculus. It's just not a good look. This was my first year attempting it in a hoop house and it really was the key to my success, I have to be honest with you. And a lot of my information about growing things I get from Dr. Alan Armitage's specialty cut flower book. This is the Bible for growing cut flowers, I'm not kidding you. This has all of the information that I needed. It's actually page 415 if you have the book at home. Page 415 is where this, the information is on stock. And it gives you in-depth results of growing at different temperatures, growing inside, outside. And this actually says field grown stock is not recommended. It's very small success rates. That's not saying that you can't have success, but it's less likely that you're going to have success growing stock in the field. And that is because you can plant in your hoop house a lot earlier in the season. That way it could start to grow and put on some height in the cooler temperatures. Because when I was growing in the field, I wasn't able to get my ground ready for these plants until the end of April, early May. So I didn't even get them into the ground until then which is six to eight weeks later than inside my hoop house so you guys get it the heat and the length of the day is what basically tells the plant to flower and if you're not having that growth and the, the height put on in the early spring while it's still cold as soon as it gets to a certain temperature outside it's going to be like okay flower now so if that plant's only four to six inches tall and the days start to get warm and the days start to get long that plant's going to flower no matter what height it is i hope that wasn't too complicated if it was i'm sorry let's get back on track i just kind of go off sometimes okay i started the seeds last year on february 3rd in channel trays and soil blocks remember channel trays are those they're called row seed flats with the 20 different columns. I started them in those channel trays. I also started them in some soil blocks. And last year I did call the majority of them for doubles. Another thing that this book says to do that is beneficial is to give it a cold period after germination. I did not do that and I did have success. A cold period after germination is said to improve or I guess speeding up the flowering of the plant and also the height of the plant. But if you think about it, perhaps me planting it out in the hoop house in March gave it that cold period it needed. Perhaps, I don't know. A lot of people will put them in the refrigerator after they plant them for a couple of weeks in order to get that cold period. I did not do that. The hoop house worked well for me. Anyway, after I planted them in the channel trays, I potted them up. Now I potted some up into 72 plug trays and I potted some up into 200 plug trays, just different size plugs. I ended up planting them into the ground in my hoop house in March. And then here they are on April 28th. You can see they're growing very well, probably about six inches tall here. Now you can see there are two different sizes of seedlings. There's the first section and then there's the back section. Now remember I just said, some of them I potted up into 72s and some of them I potted up into 200s. The ones that I potted up into 72s, because they had more space to grow, they grew faster than the ones that I potted up into the 200 plug trays. Well, <laughs> because they were able to put on growth faster in the 72 plug trays, they actually bloomed about two weeks earlier than the ones that I potted up in the 200 plug trays, even though the seeds were started at the same time. Now, I think I will intentionally do that this year just so that I have some more of a succession when it comes to my stock without having to start seeds on different dates. Okay, May 17th. This, this photo was taken on May 17th and it was the first time that I actually had an open bud. I started to see color, which you might notice that when a stock starts to show a little bit of color on its bud, they all look like they're gonna be yellow. And over time, they actually change to their true color. This is the apricot one. This was May 17th. Shortly after this, I started to get a steady stream of harvest and I harvested and was using stock in my bouquets all all the way into early July. Especially that rainbow quartet stock that just kept having those side shoots. You guys saw when I was collecting the seeds, some of them had a lot of side shoots and most of those stems were usable. 
Now I really noticed that the length of my stem really started to take off when I put the shade cloth on the hoop house and I didn't do that right away. I did that a little bit late, I think late spring I did that. I think doing that earlier in the season is going to give me that height earlier on which I think will be a good thing because the first few stock that I did harvest were on the shorter side. So if I have the shade cloth on earlier that causes the stems and the flower and the plant itself to stretch for the sun because now it's in oh I'm in shade I need the sun I better reach up higher. That's what the plants do. So it was really a benefit to have the shade cloth on the hoop house not only to keep the temperatures down in there on really warm spring days but also to effectively trick the plants into growing taller. All right, stock has a base life of about seven days and it does benefit a little bit. It gives it a couple of days extra if you feed it with flower food and you can keep stock in a cooler between 36 and 41 degrees. You could also, if you need to, store it dry for a couple of days, but that's not recommended. Now, storing stock in the cooler will reduce the smellability, you know, the intensity of the scent. So you've been warned. I noticed I would take it out of the cooler and I'd try to be like, no, well, it's not, doesn't smell very much. And then in a couple of hours, it would get a little bit of its aroma back, but not all of it. So it does reduce the fragrance by keeping it in the cooler, just, just so you know. And that's about it, guys. I love stock. I will be starting my seeds at the end of January with the intentions of getting them into the hoop house by March 1st. When I say by March 1st, I mean I'm probably gonna start planting in the hoop house in mid-February and hopefully by March 1st everything is out there because March 1st is when I really need to start paying attention to everything at the nursery. My little baby hanging baskets are gonna be starting, lots going on. So I'm gonna try not only to have earlier blooms in the springtime, but also less work on my plate at the same time. Cross your fingers and we'll see what happens. I'll be doing a video soon about everything that I plan on growing in the hoop house and why I've decided to do that. But in the case of stock, I think you guys can tell this was a really great, great filler. It's a filler, but it's like a focal flower too, cause it's so pretty. I'd be happy with just a bunch of stock, to be honest with you. I think I'm most excited about the rainbow stock again this year and the quartet mix. I've never grown any other quartet variety and I love, love, love the way that they branch. They're not one hit wonders, they are a multi-stem plant. I cannot recommend it enough. I cannot, I cannot even tell you how delicious stock is and it was a favorite of both florists and my customers. Hopefully again in 2023, I'll be filling the books with stock. Thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Boop, 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 boop. There they are. They are the beautiful stocks, seeds that I collected. I hope they grow into beauties. Let's talk about stock, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about stock. That's not a word. What's the word?